Okay, Sophia, this is this was actually a very uh, tricky question, if you ask me. Well, one that you had to use your imagination quite a bit, and if you're not more familiar with a with a hexagon, uh, it might have given you some trouble as you had. So, here's the idea. I know it's very hard, very difficult to see um, after I draw this. But the idea was this, cut this into one, two, three, four, five, six uh, triangles, six isosceles triangles to be precise, more precise. Okay, so can you find the area of this triangle right here? Try to put it in red because that's so you can find the area of this triangle because you have the base which is five point five centimeters and you have the height which is given to you at four point three centimeters. So area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, and you get base is five times four point three. Okay. 5 times 4.3, let me just do it out here on this corner, 4.3 times 5, you get 15, goes 1, 21.5. Okay, so the 21.5, I'm sorry, divided by 2, okay, you got to divide that by 2, so 21.5 divided by 2. Okay, so that goes 1, 2, 0, bring the 1 down, doesn't go in, and now bring the 5 down, it goes in 7 times which is 14, bring another 0 down, uh, sorry, there was one left over, bring another 0 down, and that would be a 5. So each triangle is 10.75, each triangle. You got 6 of them, so it's times 6, 30 goes 3, 45 goes 4, and 64, 2 decimal place values, so your answer has 2 decimal place values, and you get 64.50. So each triangle here, it measures 10.75 uh, centimeters squared. All right. So uh, now you know. Now you see it. Next time you see it, uh, you'll definitely know. So good question, though. Uh, let me just make this bigger. Which statement is not true about the expression? Well, it's true. I'm sorry. The expression has two factors. Well. What are you multi what are you, what's happening here? You're multiplying this guy times this guy. Is that true? Yes, it is because you're multiplying. This is considered one item that you multiply. One of two things that are being multiplied. This is something. Okay, let's call that a. This is b. Even though B is made up of two terms here inside, it doesn't matter, but you, as far as multiplication goes, you're multiplying two things, this and the answer to all this. So that's A times B. So that is a true statement. The expression has three factors. Are you seeing three things being multiplied? No, you're seeing two things being multiplied, this and this. So B is incorrect. The factor 2x plus 5 has three terms, this factor right here. Okay, and there's a, they just gave the answer away. They call this a factor. This is a factor. Okay, one of the two items being multiplied. So this factor has three terms. Does it have three terms? No, it has two terms. It has this term and this term. Remember, a term is separated by addition or subtraction sign. It's the size of an expression. So this particular expression, 2x plus 5, is has two terms. This is one term, 2x, and the other term is 5. So does it have three terms? No, so that's a false statement. Okay, the expression is the sum of three terms. No, it's not. It's not. We're not adding three things here. We're multiplying two things. Okay, we're not adding seven plus two x plus five. So right there is your incorrect answer. So even if you were a little confused, things you could have done. You could have definitely crossed this out because it's not three things being added. It's definitely not this one. The expression has three factors, not three things being multiplied. And even this one, 2x plus 5, if you looked inside, is it made up of three things? Okay, no, 
though. It's not. It's made up of two pieces. This piece and this piece. Okay. And which gave you this one as the only one that uh, could be the answer. Okay. But that was easy. All right. Hope that helps. So uh, now I know where to stop, but just, I think, let's find it. And here it is.